Hey, this is Crystal, and we're adding a Microsoft Word document to a blank slide as an OLE object. So again, if you're working in two applications in 2010, you should have both open. You don't have to have the application, the Word document open, but you should at least have it available and definitely know where it is. So I have my PowerPoint file open right here, and here's this blank PowerPoint right here, and I want all the text that's in one particular Word document, and I'm going to move it into this blank slide. So again, insert makes sense, right? I'm going to go to the insert tab, and notice this group that's called text right here. I don't want any of these options. I'm going to insert what's called an object, O-L-E object. So once I click on object, I get my choices. I can create new any one of these objects, but I have something created already. So I'm going to go to create from file, and then I'm going to browse for its location. So there's a folder on my desktop with, with all of my folders and all my files. So it's in this particular folder. And here's the document. Just one short document. I'm just going to click OK. And here, it's going to give me the opportunity to do that. Notice it says the result right here. It inserts the contents as an object into your presentation. So once I click OK, it actually inserts all the contents of the Word document into my PowerPoint slide. Now the nice thing about this is that you get the text that's in there, and as soon as you click in the text, you'll get every aspect of Microsoft Word that you would normally have available if you went to Microsoft Word. Here you go. As soon as I click in here, it goes right from PowerPoint, and then watch how the ribbon changes to Microsoft Word. Wow, I'm in Microsoft Word now. And now I can make any editing that I need to. As soon as I double click outside, I'm right back in PowerPoint. So that's how to take a Word document and link it to a blank slide in PowerPoint as an OLE object. This is Crystal. See you soon.